So my first alarm goes off at 6 a.m. And I used to just set one alarm, but then I knew that I had, let's say, three hours before I needed to leave to work. So I would just grab my phone and I would sit in bed and I would scroll, which I know a lot of people do. Um, and I found that when I did that, I started comparing myself, my, my mind started running, and I realized that in order to be successful and to start my day in a really positive way, I needed to control the spirit of my day. And I needed to control what I was putting into my mind first thing in the morning and how I was using my body. So I wake up, I go downstairs, get water, hydrate. Um, I have some apple cider vinegar in water and then I put on some meditative music and I stretch. And I do some yoga, some nice relaxing flows, and just do some meditation and really get in tune with myself, mind-body connection. I spent the past, my, my business just turned four, and the first three years of owning a business, I was training every night, I was teaching classes every night, so I was working all day in the office, building my business, and then I was going to train at night with a group of women. You know, for the first uh, two and a half years, I was training two times a day, teaching two classes a day. And it was just draining. And I would get home, eat dinner around midnight every night, and then I would, uh, you know, wake up so groggy in the morning and sometimes sleep until like nine or 10 just because it, you know, was so taxing on the body. And I would wake up and I would just be in this negative place and it took me forever to get going. And um, I always thought of myself that I'm not a morning person, I, I'm a night person, that I need to stay up late and I need to wake up late. But in March of 2017, I went on a mission trip. I kind of just, it, which was completely out of character for me because I had been so focused, like tunnel vision on my business. I went on a mission trip and I was in this environment where we were building homes for people in slum conditions in Costa Rica. And just being there by myself was the first time I had ever traveled out of the country by myself. And being in this environment where these people have nothing and you're coming from America with your first world probs, it was just this, it was a jarring experience for me because I was just like, why am I so stressed all the time? Why am I so anxious? Why am I doing anything that isn't contributing to a better life for me or those around me or making me happy or isn't true to who I am? And I had been feeling for a while that I needed to stop teaching classes, that I needed to allocate that energy and that time towards something else. And I just did, I wasn't making the decision, I wasn't making the jump. And when I left there, that experience, I left there and I made a vow to myself, like my goal became that I wanted to be more authentic to myself. I wanted to get to a place where I could live and operate in pure authenticity, you know, without caring what people were gonna think of me, without caring, you know, how I was gonna be received or perceived by anyone else. Like, I just wanted to be happy and true to myself. And so I started making changes in my life. I decided that I was gonna stop teaching classes, and I did. Um, I ended a relationship. I, you know, just made changes in my life that made it so that I could use that time and energy to work on myself. And one of those decisions was that I was going to start feeding myself. I was going to take control of what I was putting in my body. You know, I advocate for putting fuel in your body that, that's healthy for you because we are what we eat, but we also are what we think. We are what we listen to. We are what we watch. And I decided to step up and take responsibility for that. So previously, you know, part of my morning routine was waking up and going right for the phone and scrolling and I just found that it put me in a negative place. It put me in a place where I would never felt like I was doing enough or I was gonna be enough or I was worthy enough um, because you know, social media is a facade and people put their best moments out there and I, I just felt that it wasn't constructive to me. So I started setting these alarms because I'm not an organized person, I'm a spontaneous person, I like to do different things every day. But going against you know, that part of myself and developing some routine in the morning has been so constructive for me.